Hello my lovely audience. Thanks for coming back again to my another tutorial for you guys. Yes, as you read in the thumbnail, we are making some lo-fi music. So a brief before just starting. Millions of music listeners have turned into lo-fi music to relax, study and de-stress. So what is lo-fi music? Now lo-fi or lo-fi refers to a recording with less than professional or flawed sound quality. So lo-fi is a short for low fidelity and initially referred to a low quality recording with audible and initially referred to a low quality recording with audible imperfections and such as background noise or performance mistakes recording with inexpensive you know bedroom producers equipment and the opposite of high fidelity or high fair production now in the 1980s and the 1990s lo-fi was regarded as a more authentic sounding form of music production than just professional methods many punk indie rock and hip hop artists have pursued a lo-fi aesthetic for economic and artistic reasons. Now the three main characteristics of lo-fi music are drum loops, jazz chords and some samples. Especially rain samples, when else we all know it. So lo-fi has seen a tremendous gain during the pandemic in Indian scene. Also thanks to artists such as Adwait, you know him, War Mono, Ya, YB, Indian and Gravero. Check them out if you haven't. Now let's start the tutorial. So firstly we will start with the verse chords. Now for the verse chords I used basic pattern. You know every chords by 4 bars. These are the instruments that I used. One is from the standard stock plugins, stock pad of instruments, keyboard, close grind. This is the preset I used. And here it how them sounds. Next just added a layer of another E piano in X and 2. Yeah, one most important thing. When using chords in lo-fi music, try to strum them. Press Alt plus S and Adjust the strum accordingly to your choice. Next we have some chords for the chorus section. Now added some more layers, one is a pad layer, another is an ambient layer, just to fill up some frequencies. This is how they all sound together. Next is a sub bass. A sub is also important in this kind of music because it is a genre of hip hop. And the sub should be flat but it should also be booming at the same time. Next up is the processing on the chords. So I used the lo-fi preset in Maximus and adjusted it to my liking. Here you can see it. Next up, I added a fruity reverb. In this genre, you have to use maximum reverb, you know, and just to find a low fidelity and low cheap quality. 
This is a good preset in Patcher. You can find it in Yulin Humanizer. It just gives the same RC20 wipes. Stop plugin. You can use it then an EQ to cut off the high end. You know, lo fi doesn't have. That's on the high end. That's why it is called off. Then a compressor to limit those initial punches. And again a limiter for side chaining. Then these are the settings for the bus Hazard of Vinyl, Glue, Compressor again and a parameter EQ to control the low frequencies Now next up we have the sub -base. The mixing for sub is generally a parameter EQ and a limiter with a compression on for side chaining Next up we have an ARP made in Xpand 2 for the chorus section and this is how it goes now for the mixing we I just have a parameter EQ cutting off the high frequencies a bandpass filter and a reverb then we come to the drum section really the instruments in this genre are to reverb field because you have to give that back lush surround field not in your face type then we have the drums for this song slow hi-hat pattern Maximus again the lo-fi setting preset snare with maximum reverb which is a choice to keep the kick at front or you can just make it sit back in the mix it's all our personal choice Next you can see I use some loops percussion field just to enhance the groove the vinyl effects at the bottom and another rain ambience now we have some interesting takes on the acapella I did in some sections where it fades from the verse to the chorus when it transits I used delay a half step delay combined with an endless smile it's a very good plugin to give that lush feel these are the settings you can check them out just try it once, you will know. Also remember an important tip that Cabela should have a lot of reverb. Not decay, because the decay will muddy it up. It needs to be muddy but not that muddy. But the reverb amount should be near about 50 to 70 percent.